guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. So in this week's video we're going to be doing an episode of Wreck This Journal. We're going to be picking a prompt that I've been putting off for a little while because I didn't really know what to do with it. So the prompt is make a paper aeroplane. We've got this page which gives us the layout for the aeroplane and then this page is blank. So I thought okay great I can make a paper aeroplane but it's not interesting of course I need to put an artistic spin on it I think today we'll make a paper aeroplane but I think I'm also gonna draw a plane which I've never done before I've never drawn a plane I don't know if I've even drawn a car before notice how fancy my cover looks if you didn't watch that video you can check that out in the link in that corner to see how I covered this beautiful thing um, but yes yeah, so let's head straight into the page which is 38 and 39 I don't even remember how to make a paper aeroplane I mean I can make a hyperbolic parabola but I don't remember how to make a paper aeroplane <laughs> if you don't know what a hyperbolic parabola is don't worry keep watching and I will show you how to make one anyway let's get back into it <sighs> my words just don't seem to be coming out in the right order at the minute and i don't know why i'm guessing this is going to help me make a paper aeroplane not a a paper aeroplane <laughs> classic dark paper aeroplane should we go for that one then okay let's do this first things first we need to cut it out So do I, do I fold it this way so we can see the line still? Ta-da! So I'm guessing we go in again. Yeah, and that does follow that line, look at that! Fold it in half. Ah, and then we've got those down like this. How clever! Plane. Should we fly it? See how far it goes. Doesn't go very far. Oh, a bit better. Paper aeroplane. <laughs> this is where I'm winging it. So the page looks like that at the minute. I'm feeling like I need to have like a window there because because we've got two pages that are a bit flappy. I think it'd be quite nice to have something a bit more solid in between. Bear with me. So I was thinking maybe using my laminator to create like a plastic in between. This sounds a bit crazy, but I'm gonna cut this paper aeroplane in half. So obviously we don't want something too thick in the book. So I'm thinking if that's lying flat like that, we've got this wing sticking out, which we can just fold down. So what if I laminated this part inside and then have this stuck to the front of it. It's gone quite wrinkly. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's got no paper in, but here we go. We've got a nice little window now. Wow, cool. Look at that. Now we've got to add that to that there. Well, I think that's blooming brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> uh, so let's move on to the drawing. So basically I've got my basic sketch down and now I'm going to go in with a new pen which is my uni pen fine liner but I've got it in grey. So yeah this might add a little bit of difference to my usual line and wash watercolour. Okay, so before I forget, here is a hyperbolic parabola. Now, I've been making this since I was probably about 10. Me and my dad used to sit and do origami together when I'd go over to see him. And it's one of those special memories. So this unusual 3D shape is where you concertina fold um, 
each of the four edges into this X shape. And yeah, it comes out with this really fun 3D shape. I think the reason why I loved it so much is because it's called hyperbolic parabola and it's a really cool word to say. So there you go. I'm a little bit excited because for Christmas, I got some Daniel Smith watercolors. We've got a yellow, a blue and a red. We've got our primary colours. We've got this really lovely watercolour palette. Organic Vermilion. Hamza Yellow. Ultramarine Blue. And of course I'm using my Skoda Perla brushes. They are my favourite watercolour brushes in the universe. make a paper aeroplane. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on Monday. <laughs>